Hello everybody, I am Gonzal, and welcome back to the Living Realms, where in the last episode we ended up building this lovely little storage shack, which leads inside the mountain range, or hillside here. So now we have plenty of space to actually get all of our stuff organized. We've got our woods, and we've got our logs hidden in the oak barrels here. We also have inside here some of the stone that we've been working on. And overall, it's just been working quite, quite well that I'm, I'm really enjoying how it came about. And we've also connected the rows here all the way up to the mine where I have finally actually gotten all the way down. If we take a very careful look down, we got all the way down to negative 58. So that is a lot of uh, depth we've added to the mine as well as acquired quite a bit of material. Taking a look, there is still quite a bit of stuff in here, but we got ourselves seven diamonds, 16 raw gold, a stack and a quarter of raw copper, and a bit of redstone dust, which will likely come in handy later on. I'm not too sure just yet. Also, we have quite a bit of obsidian now to our names. Uh, where did I put the rest? There it is. Stack and a quarter, little over a quarter, that is plenty of obsidian, so if you ever decide to make a giant portal, we can at least set that up. But that said, uh, I've actually been working a bit in the farm fields, actually, because, as you can see, we have some barrels right over here, where I've been storing the excess wheat, which I've converted into bread. i uh, got a couple of loaves already stored up in there as well as decorating the path, which I believe you saw in the last episode. I just added a bit of touches here and there to make the path a little less... a little less boring. I also have plenty of potatoes that I've been growing in our small little farm field here, which has been a benefit to me since I can now, if I can set up a smoker or maybe even a contraption using a campfire, just get some automatic baked potatoes, which might end up being Quite a handy little thing to have in the future. But in doing so, I've noticed two very important things. While we do have plenty of crops, we are lacking two very important types of renewable resources, and that is animals and trees. As you can see over here, I have begun making a tree farm that I'll be extracting all of my wood from. But it also coincidentally aligns with where I'm actually going to expand the village. So I can't actually keep the tree farm here because that's going to get in the way of future building plans. So what I'm thinking is that I'm actually going to move my logging supplies over to this side. Because as you can see, there's plenty of trees over there. But there's also plenty of space that I'm not actually going to be using in terms of the village. So that's actually going to be a good spot to put it where it's within reach, but it's not within the boundaries of the village. And that way I can also set up a little bit of a logging camp on that side and it will just mesh pretty well with the village. But uh, first things first, before I talk about the animals, I need to sleep because uh, that moon is rising. So around this area is where I'm actually planning on putting the animal farms. And while I do actually want to expand them a bit more out this way, so it's just sort of enveloping the valley. Enveloping? Enveloping. Enveloping, yeah, that's the word. Enveloping the valley. We're going to put maybe... Maybe sort of like a little bit of a storage... Not a storage rack. Uh, What's that word? storage shed slash maybe some sort of like ranch setup because we'll have the farmhouse here but then we'll have like all the extra supplies just stored right about here also in case you haven't noticed uh it has now been a couple of weeks since 1.19 came out so that means the world finally got upgraded so we are finally playing on 1.19 so I don't have my zoom anymore, which is a little saddening, but what I can do is I can... Hold on. If I take... Oh, no, we already have some. If I take these, make that, take one of these, open up my inventory, put the boat there, put the chest there, we can make ourselves... Boats with chests, which actually works out pretty well because I didn't know how these would work. 
I just opened up my inventory and there's already a second inventory. So, bada boom, bada bing. Oh, oh. That wasn't planned, folks. That was not planned. But I can actually also access it. Uh, at least I thought I could. Oh well. But yeah, that actually helps with exploring since now we'll have extra space to store items. So that's going to be very, very handy. Now, the problem I'm experiencing is that I don't have all the animals here with me. So what I'm going to end up doing is grabbing the wheat I have still stored in the chests here and start breeding them. However, there is also a another problem because I do not have any carrots. Well, I have these carrots, don't get me wrong, but I don't have any regular carrots because I cannot plant golden carrots. I don't think. No, you can't plant a golden carrot. So outside of finding a village that has some carrots growing, I'm just going to have to get lucky with any skeleton drop or not skeletons, drops, that would be weird, any zombie drops, and hope that we get ourselves a carrot. But in the meantime, what I should be doing is setting up a pen system for the animals, which I'm actually going to use my stone here. Where's the rest of the stone? There we are. I'm going to make some nice stone fencing, because why not? Also, why not? Because uh, we have, if I recall, plenty of stone and we'll need the cobbled stone walls for a little bit of a project that I may have in the works later. So we're just going to hold on to a bit of this, but I will need some fence gates, so I will make a couple of those. And now we have a pen for cows, sheep, and chickens. So, it is time to gather said animals and get them sorted so I can actually get the pens installed. But first things first, we do have the wheat. Now we just need the seeds. So, I think... I think the first thing we should focus on is getting those cows because the cows are way up on the hill and I don't know where they are. Where they got the idea to go up there. I also still need to get more of the pumpkins down because while I did grow some, uh, I didn't keep the fields. I just kept them to get the torches uh, for the fields. So that is something I'm going to have to work on. But uh, yeah, need to figure out how to get these cows down. Luckily, there's not that one in the mine anymore. That was a weird cow. Maybe he's up here still. Maybe we'll get mine cow back. I spot one cow and I spot the cow that was on the ridge a second ago. So we have all we need for the farm. So first things first, let's get you right over here, buddy. Come along. Come on now. Come on. Also, I'm looking at this and I just realized that there is this giant clearing right on the other side of the valley. And while I was planning on putting the farm here for a second, I did realize that this actually provides an opportunity for another project that we can probably get on the works. So I'm actually going to leave that as it is, and we'll see what happens once we get all of these guys sorted down below. But it uh, looks like we have some pigs up here, so we won't have to worry too much about getting pigs. Though it looks like it's starting to get dark, so I better get these guys down here quickly and uh, safely. Animal number one, obtained. Cows, delivered. I'll let you uh, read one up. Oh! Oh, and that's the first time I did it. Yay. Alright, so time to sleep, and on to our next target. Probably sheep. So I completely forgot that there was a wild wolf around this side of the valley, and that actually would have caused some problems, because if I'm trying to bring the sheep over, his natural instincts would have been to uh, have a nice tasty snack, which we can't have going on right now. Also, there's horses! I don't know if I have any saddles. That's the problem. Well, I know I have armor, I think. I think I have some armor, but I don't know if I have any saddles. Also, we do have one sheep up there, but we're going to need a second sheep in order to get anything really done. So hopefully we can find another sheep. Or maybe a few more sheep than usual. Also, apologies if any of the video starts to get laggy. 
Um, I am not running at 100% optimization on this uh, new iteration of the of the file. Uh, so I will say there's likely going to be a little bit of flub ups here and there while I get everything smoothened out. And success, we have ourselves some nice, lovely, fluffy sheep. So come along, my fluffy, uh, woolly friends. It's time to make our way to our forever home. And hopefully you won't get attacked by any wolves, because while I did pen up the one, I think I saw another one. And it's raining. Hopefully there's no lightning, because that might cause problems. And there we have it. We have number two. And now we have three. So that's two down, one to go. And I'm pretty sure there's chickens right around the corner here. So I'm just gonna grab them real quick and hopefully not have to worry about any mobs in the nighttime. So I came looking for just a couple of chickens and I got myself a whole little squad here. That's actually gonna work out in my favor because now we can get twice as many chickens done in half the time. So come on little guys. You are the last I need to gather until I can get myself some carrots. That might be something we'll have to look for in some exploration missions. Also we need to figure out a way to get the horses in. Uh, I could use a lasso but that's gonna involve some slime and I don't think I have any slime available. So that's uh, that's gonna be a problem. Well, it's raining, it's dark, it's night, but we have our animals. And do we have any extra chickens? No. Alright. Well, at least we got done what we needed to get done, so I'm going to get rid of the night and the rain and see about... Let's see, do we have anything... Uh... Oop, better get inside. I'll, I'll think it over in the morning. So while I think about what I'm going to do with the animals in terms of a pen, I want to see what the logging operation is going to look like over here because, ooh, there's a wolf. So I'm going to need to go find myself some bones then because it looks like there are more wolves we're going to have to take uh, in under our wing in this valley. So that's going to be something we'll have to consider. But uh, looks like, ooh, another one. Looks like there's, ooh bit of a ravine here. Nothing too big, though. Looks like most of it's flat over the edge here, though it looks like it's not as big as I was expecting. But even still, with a bit of work, I should be able to at least get something worked out. So I'm going to set myself up a nice little camp uh, somewhere along the edge. So it's easier to get to the boat, or at least easier to access via the boats. But, ooh, is this a cave system? Uh, that is, that, that's an underwater cave. Uh, those are, those are interesting to explore, but uh, I don't think there's going to be anything I will find really useful in it. So I'm just going to set up a bit of a camp here. Uh, why not? And, whew. I guess I should start chopping down trees, though. I guess what I should probably do is clear that out of the way, so at least I have more saplings available. Also, I do kind of like that cute little uh, tree there. Just little little tree hanging out on the edge there. Also got the uh, got the other ones down there. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm starting to like this little valley it's growing on me. Oh, I, I still need to get the pumpkin pumpkins down. I just realized once I chop down these oak trees here, even though we're going to have the farm set up, I don't think I'll be in need of any more oak logs for a little while. Because there's going to be a lot of... Oh, where'd that log go? So I finally took out the little tree farm I had built over there on the side of my future uh, town. Village? Still going to go with village. But uh, as I was making my way over here to set up the new logging and slash tree farm uh this guy decided to show up and uh yeah i do like your leads though sir you you've got uh something that i kind of want 
So, how about uh, we make a little arrangement? Okay, so our visitor uh, left us some gifts, and now I guess I should probably start working on actually making the lumber camp. So, I think I'm going to take a page out of uh, some old games I've played and make a little sort of logging complex. So, I'm going to need to get myself first, ironically, some more wood I chopped down earlier, and probably a little bit of cobblestone. Oh, I guess that's it for my... St oh, no, we got one left. But, but honestly, I think what I've built so far is pretty good. We got a nice little cabin so we can sleep at night. Got plenty of storage right here. And I'm just going to widen the path just a little bit so it's easier to get in. Got our little log camp there. And, of course, what logging camp is complete without a... Uh, sawmill. Even though in this sawmill, it cuts stone. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a that's an odd one. But we have our logging camp. So now on to the next step, which is actually to clear off all of the trees up here, flatten the land, and then make designated areas to farm. And ooh, I think I already discovered this earlier, but uh, I'm still going to see if there's anything actually usable in here or if it's just going to go underwater and uh so far it looks like it's just going to go underwater although there is lapis lazuli i do enjoy seeing a bit of that do i have a door i'm going to cheese strat aha Ooh. okay there's a little more down here than i was thinking but, uh, I'll take care of this later. Or maybe not at all. I don't know. But I do know I want my door back. Uh, I was probably using the axe. And I'm just going to head back up and actually do what I was going to do and make myself a nice, lovely tree farm. Birch wood, check. Oak wood, check. Spruce wood, still in development, but technically check. All right, that 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 is good. So now we have at least three types of wood that we'll be using, and we do have storage bins for all of the woods. Uh, that's for there's the oak, there's the birch. Uh, that's going to be spruce, and I don't know what other wood I'm going to put in. But yep, uh, in terms of logging camps, I think we have a good uh, tree farm here. So I think the next thing we've got to focus on is uh, getting the animals set because I think I still need to finish the animal pens. Uh, so let's head over that way and see what I can do. Animals are still here. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Uh, I did breed a few of them earlier just to get a bit more animals in the pens so we'd have more to work with. Definitely have more than enough chickens to go off of though. So what I think I need to do is start laying out bigger pen enclosures because that is definitely going to be the biggest thing we'll be worried about. Uh, I could probably... I honestly could probably move all the chickens in here just because, well, I don't use this building too often. But actually, wait, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to use this to store all the woods and other supplies. So all this land here is what I'm going to have to be using for the pens. So that's going to be a little, a little bit tricky, but I think I have an idea. But first things first, I'm going to need more cobble so I can get some more cobblestone walls. You've got some walls in hand and some extra materials because I think the first thing I'm going to work on is making the chicken coop for the chickens because I feel like that's going to be the easiest to work off of. So I'm just going to, let's see, take this down and, okay, let's see, place, like, nope, not like that. Uh, where's the wall? There's the wall, okay. So we'll place it like so and we'll put in a bit of like that and then maybe a bit like that. Yep. Okay, so that works. That works pretty well. And then on top, I guess. Nope, not like that. Um, you need a moment. Okay. Okay, that works out pretty well. I'd say that that works decently for a nice little chicken coop. So now all I gotta do is make sure the chickens can't actually escape. 
So we'll take some of this down. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that for now. And I guess extend the chicken coop just a little. Oh, oh wait, hold on. I do that. And then I put that there. Then I can just move. Okay. All right. So that, that fixes the wall. So chicken coop, chicken coop. Uh, that's right. All right. So I don't want it to be direct. Do I want? No, I do not want it directly because then the chickens are going to escape. So we're going to put it one over like so just kind of bring it around so like this yep that works and i just tear that down put that away grab that and voila we have a bigger and more improved chicken coop and i say this works out pretty well so now all I gotta do is, when I want to, just collect some eggs, and we're good. We're all set, and it looks like they're checking out the... Looks like they're trying to use the chicken coop, which I find pretty nice. Hopefully the baby chickens don't get uh, suffocated, because that looks like it might be a problem in the future, but... Eh, we'll see. Alright. Oh, they're using it! Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna sleep. And I guess get started on the sheep pen next. Alrighty, sheepies, let's get you out of there. Come on, sheepies. And we'll just go around the corner here. And get you all up in your new little pen. Oh, wait. Hold on, put that there, because it looks like some of you didn't get the memo. Come on. Come on. Alright. Now. Don't. Oh. Uh, it looks like the sheep are just a little... You're gonna have to come in one at a time, fellas. Eh. Never mind. I retract my statement. Well, the stupidity aside of the sheep, it looks like they're all settled in their nice little pens, so that's good. And as for the cows... Honestly, I don't see the cows... Uh in all that bad of a position. So I'm actually just going to extend the wall a bit this way. And like that, we can just make the cows a bigger pen. So yeah, if I just take this down, then just break the wall here. Cows got a gigantic pen to call their home. So I, th I think that works out pretty well. That's one strong baby. Still have no idea what I'm going to use this field for. Might have to finally start planting those pumpkins. And actually, maybe see if I can find some melons, because I know... I know there's a jungle right around the corner, because that's where I got the bamboo from, so... Maybe we'll go and get the extra seeds so we can actually finish the farm. And with all the new materials we're actually gathering, because now we can get a proper source of wood and stone... I think I might actually finish up and flatten this. And I think next episode, we'll finally get this village settled so it can start working on a bigger project. But like I said, that will be in the next episode. So that said, I'm wrapping things up here today. So I do want to thank you all for watching. Hope you had a wonderful day and or night with me here. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit the subscribe button down below because doing so really helps me out a lot. And until then, I must bid you all adieu.